Direct metal laser sintering is an additive manufacturing technique that uses a laser as the power source to sinter powdered material, aiming the laser automatically at points in space defined by a 3D model, binding the material together to create a solid structure. It is similar to selective laser sintering. The two are instantiations of the same concept but differ in technical details. Selective laser melting uses a comparable concept, but in SLM the material is fully melted rather than sintered, allowing different properties. DMLS was developed by the EOS firm of Munich, Germany. The DMLS process involves use of a 3D CAD model whereby a STL file is created and sent to the Machine Euro unregistered trademark S software. A technician works with this 3D model to properly orient the geometry for part building and add supports structure as appropriate. Once this build file has been completed, it is sliced into the layer thickness the machine will build in and downloaded to the DMLS machine allowing the build to begin. The DMLS machine uses a high power 200 watt fiber optic laser. Inside the build chamber area, there is a material dispensing platform and a build platform along with a rotor blade used to move new powder over the build platform. The technology fuses metal powder into a solid part by melting it locally using the focused laser beam. Parts are built up additively layer by layer, typically using layers 20 micrometers thick. This process allows for highly complex geometries to be created directly from the 3D CAD data, fully automatically, in hours and without any tooling. DMLS is a net shape process, producing parts with high accuracy and detail resolution, good surface quality and excellent mechanical properties. Benefits DMLS has many benefits over traditional manufacturing techniques. The ability to quickly produce a unique part is the most obvious because no special tooling is required and parts can be built in a matter of hours. Additionally, DMLS allows for more rigorous testing of prototypes. Since DMLS can use most alloys, prototypes can now be functional hardware made out of the same material as production components. DMLS is also one of the few additive manufacturing technologies being used in production. Since the components are built layer by layer, it is possible to design internal features and passages that could not be cast or otherwise machined. Complex geometries and assemblies with multiple components can be simplified to fewer parts with a more cost-effective assembly. DMLS does not require special tooling like castings, so it is convenient for short production runs. Applications this technology is used to manufacture direct parts for a variety of industries including aerospace, dental, medical and other industries that have small to medium size, highly complex parts and the tooling industry to make direct tooling inserts. With a typical build envelope of 250x250x 325 m and the ability to Euro grow or Euro unregistered trademark multiple parts at one time, DMLS is a very cost and time effective technology. The technology is used both for rapid prototyping, as it decreases development time for new products, and production manufacturing as a cost-saving method to simplify assemblies and complex geometries. The Northwestern Polytechnical University of China is using a similar system to build structural titanium parts for aircraft. An EADS study shows that use of the process would reduce materials and waste in aerospace applications. On September 5, 2013 Elon Musk tweeted an image of SpaceX's regeneratively cooled Super Draco rocket engine chamber emerging from an EOS 3D metal printer, noting that it was composed of the Inconel super alloy. Constraints, the aspects of size, feature details and surface finish, as well as print through error in the z-axis may be factors that should be considered prior to the use of the technology. However, by planning the build in the machine where most features are built in the X and Y axis as the material is laid down, a feature tolerances can be managed well. Surfaces usually have to be polished to achieve mirror or extremely smooth finishes. For production tooling, material density of a finished part or insert should be addressed prior to use. For example, in injection molding inserts, any surface imperfections will cause imperfections in the plastic part and the inserts will have to mate with the base of the mold with temperature and surfaces to prevent problems. 
In this process metallic support structure removal and post-processing of the part generated is a time-consuming process and requires use of machining, EDM and or grinding machines having the same level of accuracy provided by the RP machine. When using rapid prototyping machines, STL files, which do not include anything but raw mesh data in binary need further conversion to CLI and SLE files. Software converts STL file to SLE files, as with the rest of the process, there can be costs associated with this step. Materials, currently available alloys used in the process include 17-4 and 15-5 stainless steel, marriaging steel, cobalt chromium, Inconel 625 and 718, and titanium T6L4V. Theoretically, almost any alloy metal can be used in this process once fully developed and validated. See also, list of notable 3D printed weapons and parts, 3D printing, additive manufacturing, desktop manufacturing, digital fabricator, direct digital manufacturing, fab lab, fused deposition modeling. Instant manufacturing, also known as direct manufacturing, or on-demand manufacturing, rapid manufacturing, rapid prototyping, rep wrap project, solid freeform fabrication, stereolithography, laser engineered net shaping, laser centering of gold, references. External links, rapid manufacturing's role in the factory of the future, direct metal laser sintering, video. Do. 022014-1041 AM. The Laser Centering Effect. RDMAG.com. Retrieved August 21, 2014 A.